This multi-Adobe product workflow uses Events' Geographic Imager and Map Publisher plugin for Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. First, we can open a digital elevation model directly within Photoshop. Once the image is open, we can then apply a coordinate system transformation to the image to match our project requirements. Using the Photoshop Rotate tool, the image can be rotated. Then, using the GeoCrop tool, spatial coordinates can be used to crop the image. Once the image is cropped, we can use the Magic Wand tool to select data anomalies with no data. Then, we can use the Content-Aware Fill tool to fix these. Using the Geographic Imager Terrain Shader tool, color mapping and shading can be added to the image. Once the terrain shader is completed, I can save my image as a GeoTIFF for use in Illustrator. Now using Adobe Illustrator, I can open an existing file that I've already imported some data into. I can import the rest of my GIS data directly into Adobe Illustrator using Map Publisher. In this step, I will organize the layer hierarchy and apply some pre-existing graphic styles to my data. I can also change the point style and the point size using Transform Each. Using the Map Publisher Map View Editor, I can modify the geospatial properties of the document, including the scale, the angle of rotation, and the position of the map on the page. I can now import a pre-existing settings file to the Map Publisher Label Pro tool. This tool is a collision-free labeling engine that produces great results. As you can see here, the labels are placed, and they're derived from their actual GIS attributes. One of the final things to do in Illustrator is to import the digital elevation model that we created in Photoshop CS6. Because we exported a GeoTIFF from Photoshop, the image will be fully georeferenced in Illustrator. Some small final modifications can now be added, but instead I will just open the final version of the map to show you. With the final version, I can export this to Geospatial PDF for use in Adobe Acrobat. We can open the Geospatial PDF in Adobe Acrobat to see some of the geospatial properties embedded within the file. As you can see here, we have layer support so we can toggle layers on and off as needed. The Object Data tool allows us to view geospatial PDF attributes just by clicking on the object in the PDF. The Measuring tool allows us to measure real-world distances. And the Geospatial Location tool allows us to view the current coordinates of our mouse cursor. Finally, we can use the Geospatial PDF within mobile applications like Avenza PDF Maps for iOS. As you see here, the PDF renders great, we can pan, we can zoom, and we can also use a number of different tools within the app. We can add place marks within the app, including attribute structure and detailed attributes. We can also find places, which uses a Google search to plot our points. We can also measure distances and areas directly within the app on the mobile device. Thanks for watching the Avenza Multi Adobe Product User Workflow.